there's one critical thing and a bunch of other important things you need to know about covering protests. Sometimes a demonstration or protest is an important news story for student journalists to cover. Most of the time, this is just a live action news event that needs covering like others. Occasionally though, things can get heated and even dangerous, so careful thought and preparation is needed. This is not for beginners. In extreme situations, journalists may face arrest and even violence, so you need to prepare for and be ready to deal with that. There's so much to include in this topic that we're breaking it into two videos, one on preparation and one on how to act at events. Now, there's a critical starting point for this topic. At a protest, you can be either a journalist or a protester, but you can't be both. And if you have a strong opinion about the topic, you might not be the best person to cover it. If you're a journalist, you can't carry a sign or wear a t-shirt about the issues. You can't participate in chants or march in unison with protesters. And you should clearly be visually identified as a member of the press and act differently than protesters. Some of these next things might seem extreme, but we're talking about situations that can get extreme, so you need to be smart about them. There are a few things to do before you leave home. It's wise to work with a partner, not go solo. So arrange that. That will give you flexibility to deal with situations. You should also notify people about where you're going and what you're doing. Ideally, include your editors and your advisor and other adults in your life. Plan an emergency contact. Who will you contact if you're injured or arrested? Turn off face and fingerprint recognition on your phone so someone else can't force those to open your phone. Here's a quick list of things to bring. A backpack to carry things. A notebook and probably a camera. Press ID, worn visibly. Print it out on paper or stationery if you have no real press pass. Phone numbers, SPLC, editor, advisor, in phone, maybe also written on your arm in case your phone is taken. If there's any chance of tear gas, bring goggles that can block air like swim goggles. And it wouldn't hurt to have a helmet. A simple bike helmet can be effective. Some basic first aid things would also be good. And if you get detained or things just go on for a long time, you'll want water and some food. And finally, wear shoes you can run in, not heels or sandals. That's the preparation element. Please take a look at our next video. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, I'm Trip Robbins.